this video we're going to look at the top seven free music production software. We will tell you everything you need to know and of course where you can find them. Sounds good? Let's go! Hi, it's Deo here from 11B Studios, the record label that makes music and share the knowledge. If you're new here, make sure that you click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Everything we're mentioning in this video can be found in the description box below. So let's jump into it. When you're just starting out with producing your own music, it can be tricky to figure out what software you need. It's also the point at which you want to learn how to produce your own music without investing too heavily into it. We have deep dived into where you can find free software and how you can choose software that suits your needs. Additionally, we've listed the pros and cons of each software to help you gain an overview of the features that different tools come with and how they might benefit or limit you. If you are a complete beginner, then you might find some of the terms we mentioned in this video a bit difficult to understand. But don't worry, if you have any questions, just drop a comment below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. If you've done some research before about features on different doors, you already know that there are a lot of similarities between each software. You will most likely find that the deciding factors are not the benefits for each software, but instead the limitations. For instance, GarageBand is only compatible with iOS, so that means if you are a Windows user, that automatically rules out GarageBand for you. The main thing for you to remember at this stage, whether you are a total beginner or know a little about music production, is that all of these tools will allow you to create awesome music and help you understand the intricacies of producing your own music. You will also be able to equip yourself with the know-how of using a digital audio workstation. And by the way, keep watching till the end of this video where we have a great bonus for you. So where do you find the free software? With most of the software mentioned in this video, you will either find the free versions of the product websites or when you buy certain hardware like keyboards or sound cards. Most of these free versions allow you to upgrade to full versions and this is actually in most cases way cheaper to do than to just buy the full version directly. Remember that. So which software to choose? You should definitely think about the type of music you create when you're deciding which door to work with because they are different from each other in terms of the genre each suits best. With that being said, you can create all kinds of music in all of these softwares. Famous musicians who have created outstanding music within the genres have all used different software to produce their work. Avicii, he used FL Studio for EDM, Hans Zimmer uses Cubase for movie sound scoring, and Phineas, he uses Logic Pro X for pop. Of course, there is also an industry standard software used in all of the big studios called Pro Tools, used with compatible hardware like HDX, HD Omni, HD Mari, etc. Pro Tools gives studios the ability to work on enormous projects with hundreds and hundreds of channels playing simultaneously. But just so you know, most of us, even full-time professionals, will do perfectly fine without a Pro Tools HD setup. With that being said, let's dive into the free versions. First out, we have Pro Tools First, which is the free version of the powerful Pro Tools software I mentioned earlier. You get session templates in various genres for easy startup. You also get 500 megabytes of free samples. And of course, you get some plugins included. Some of the cons are that it only supports 16 channels, that you have no support for third party plugins, and that you can't export as an MP3. Moving on to the next one, Cubase LE. Cubase is a very popular tool used by many music composers. Cubase LE is the more compact, beginner-friendly, free version of Cubase Pro. Here you have full support for third-party VST plugins. You also get access to tons of free samples and sounds at the Steinberg website. And finally, you have access to Cubase chord pads, which lets you come up with chords for a song very easily. 
Some of the cons are that you are limited to 16 channels only and that the only way to get Cubase LE for free is to buy hardware equipment from Steinberg, like a sound card for example, where Cubase LE is included. Moving on, FL Studio is very popular amongst electronic music producers since it's both affordable and versatile. It has an easy to use interface with a drag and drop enabled sidebar that helps speed up your workflow. It comes with a performance mode if you want to use it with a launch pad and it also supports both VST and uh, AU plugins. Some of the cons are that if you have used any other door, transitioning into FL Studio might be tough because it's quite different from the other software. Managing your plugins can also be a bit tricky and the free trial allows you to save your project. But if you close the project, you will not be able to open it again unless you upgrade to a paid version. So basically, you have to keep FL Studio running for the entire duration of your project. Next one is Ableton Live. For musicians looking to use software as part of the live performance, Ableton Live has become increasingly popular. Ableton Live Lite is the more basic stripped down version that is available for free along with hardware. It supports third party VST plugins, it's great for DJing and you can upgrade to the intro version at a discounted rate. Some of the cons are that a lot of essential plugins are missing, so you can't really mix and master your songs. It's difficult to call it free because you get it when you buy certain hardware. Next one on the list is Studio One Prime, which is the free version of Studio One, meant for beginners to create music and other audio content like podcasts, etc. You get unlimited audio and instrument tracks, virtual instruments and FX channels. It's also directly downloadable from the Personas website. Some of the cons are there is no third party plugin support, so you are basically stuck with the stuck plugins and there is only one software instrument included. Moving on, GarageBand is widely known for its simplicity and is used by hundreds of thousands worldwide. Very easy to use, comes with tons of samples and loops and you can use it on all Apple devices including your iPhone. Some of the cons are it's only available on iOS which means you can't use it on Windows. Also it doesn't have a mixer control screen which again results in you having less control over your project and it's a bit limited when it comes to editing your MIDI tracks. Finally we have Reaper that comes with over 300 plugins. Customizable interface, it supports an unlimited number of tracks with an unlimited number of effects. And on top of that, it also supports all plugin formats. That is crazy, guys. It's honestly hard to find any downside at all with this door besides having a pretty steep learning curve and that visually it feels a bit outdated and clunky. But I have to say, if I were just starting out as a producer today, this is probably the software I'd choose. You get the full version, a 60 day trial, and if you decide to buy it, the price is shockingly low. This is a no brainer, if you ask me. Before we wrap this up, I have a bonus gift for you guys. It's a completely free ebook called 10 things about the music industry everyone should know, but nobody will tell you about, which you can download totally free by clicking on the link below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, click subscribe and tick that notification bell. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. For more information on how to navigate the music industry jungle as an independent artist and musician, click on the videos you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching and until next time, adios.